Hello, YouTubers, Twitters, Facebookers, Vampire Freaks, Tumblers, Twitters, George Shirley Donovan Kelly coming at you. February 11th, I think. If I get the uh, date wrong, I'm sorry. But um, I do forget because that's what human beings fucking do. I forget. Uh, February 2013. Approximately 12.05 a.m. on a Sunday night, which is meant night, soon to be Monday. Uh, <clears throat> this vlog here is going to be pretty much talking about what a friendship is about and about how witchcraft is a limitless process. Uh, before I began, you know, with all the, the glitz and glamour and the pins and needles and whatnot, I want to take out some precious ass fucking time to tell you this, that uh, we're going to get right into the, the second part first and first part second, or last, whatever it is. Uh, witchcraft is a limitless thing. I had someone ask me, I'm not going to mention any names, how many spells I've done on this person? How many spells I've done on that person? Well, the thing about that is witchcraft is limitless. It doesn't matter how many times I've done it. If I feel that, you know, as a practicing witch like myself, and there's any witch you tell you the same thing as I'm telling you right now, witchcraft is limitless. It's, there's no how many times you've done a spell on the enemy. If you've done a spell the first time and you feel it didn't work, you can do it as many times as you want. It's it's infinite. It's There is no how many times I've done a spell on this person. How many times you done a spell on that person. They deserve it. They're going to get fucked. The earth knows. The moon knows. You know? And the dead knows. Which means that they deserve When they deserve it, they know they deserve it, they're going to get it. There's no how many times you've done it and what day you've done it. Doesn't matter. I'm sick of people asking the same fucking dumbass questions. How many spells you done on that person? When did you do it? Doesn't matter. Me being a practicing witch, it's my employment to do the spell as many times as I want until I feel that it works. For instance, if I do a spell on somebody and I feel that it didn't work the first time, I'll do it the second time. Sometimes it takes millions of times. More than that, it's limitless. So there's no how many times you can do the spell on someone. It's limitless. You know, and people make it fucked up for themselves. You know, I'm going to tell you this. If I knew someone was a practicing witch, I wouldn't want to fuck with them. This is real shit. This is real life. It's no joke. So don't sit there and say to a witch or a practicing witch, oh, how many times have you done a spell on that person? It doesn't matter. If you want to do a spell on someone and it doesn't, there's no limit to it. You do as many times as possible. You know, there's no how many times I've done it. If they need to deserve it 50 more fucking times, then fuck their world up and fuck them up and do it again. You know, so there's no stupid, vague question and answer follow on, oh, okay, I've done this spell 50 times. It's limitless. It's infinite. Do the spell as many times as you want to. You know in your heart, you know in your soul, and in your mind, it works. That's all that matters. Um, I'm done with that subject. I just want to get that out there. The second thing I want to talk about is, because uh, I did say this vlog is going to be talking about Witchcraft is limitless, slash about how a real friendship should be. Um, <laughs> I'm going to bleed into this situation as fine and vague as I can. You know, I'm just sick of, you know, people just, you know, and the people know who they are. I'm just sick of people and their fucking fucked up attitudes and their snobbish ways. And You know, I don't think you people ever pull your head out your ass. I don't give a fuck. This is you. You're gonna be all fucked up and stupid. That's on you. I don't care. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be Donovan for a long fucking time. So if you're trying to kill me off, it ain't gonna fucking work. Uh, number one, here's one thing. I don't have low self-esteem. Um, I think everybody has feelings. If you're a fucking human being, I might add. I'm. Re I'm gonna take that back. If you're a human being, you should have feelings. Number one. Uh, two, I don't have low self-esteem. I want to say that as vague as possible. Okay. This is my thing about friendship. And this should be everybody else's thing about friendship, too. Um, friends, you don't 
put a fucking price tag on your friends, okay? If, say for instance, someone said, hey, could you watch my house, clean house, babysit my dog, watch my kids for about two years straight, and I paid you to do it, would you do it? See, my answer to that, I would say no. I don't want you to pay me to do it. Why? Because you're my friend. And what people don't understand, a real friendship because ends up going both ways. It goes not only as a friendship, but also as a family. It's kind of like a blood orientated type thing. You should not have to pay somebody to be your fucking friend. I hate when people say, oh, well, you, you're doing all this stuff for your, per your, your friend that owns a, a facility. Does he pay you? You could, you know, you could go somewhere else and do what you want. Uh, yes, I could do whatever the fuck I want. That's why you shouldn't be asking me dumbass questions. Uh, number two, my thing is this. You shouldn't charge your friends for shit. If they're your friends, you don't put a price tag on your friends. I don't give a fuck. That's not the way a friendship works. Friends help each other out. There's no price tag planted on my head to say, if I do this, he's going to pay me that amount of money. If I do this, he's going to pay me X amount of dollars. Mm -mm. No, people, put your head out your ass and smell the fucking roses. Or whatever the fuck you like to smell, I don't fucking know. But my thing about that is you don't put a price tag on friendship. For instance, if your friend comes up to you and says, hey, can you watch my business for two months straight to me and my girl or me and my wife, whatever it is, to go out of town. Your friend should be able to trust you knowing you won't steal shit knowing you won't take money out the till or wherever the fuck it is because want to know why people because that's what friends do they don't charge each other and nor do they put a price tag on each other's fucking head if your friend comes up to you and say hey could you please help me out with something that I need help with and they come up to you and say hey I'll pay you you should say no because that's not what friends do again you should not put a price tag on your friend's head. The moral of the story, people, is don't fucking ask me, do they pay me for this? No, because that's not what friends do. Friends help each other out. It'd be different if you say, hey, I'll pay you for this later, or whatever. Different scenario, different story. But however, you're not supposed to charge your friends. That's what's wrong with people in this fucking world. I, I don't say that's what's wrong with this world or this planet, because it's not the planet or the world. It's the fucking fucked up people on the planet. That makes the planet the way it is. Mother Nature is bleeding because of all you fucking imbeciles and all you, you pieces of scum, pieces of shit like yourselves. Okay? Like, seriously, you know, you don't put a price tag on friendship. You just don't do it. If I'm not mistaken, there was a song that was made years ago. I think the song consisted of uh, <clears throat> Patti LaBelle, Luther Vandross. Uh, Dion Warwick, uh, Whitney Houston, and a few other like, you know, kings and queens of our uh, soul. It said uh, something along the lines of "Keep shining," some like that. No, when you can always count on me for sure. That's what friends are for. You guys remember that song? Well, maybe you do. If you're too young, you probably don't. But uh, what that song is pretty much saying is be your friend regardless. And that's what people are missing. They're missing that out of their, their bowls of ingredients. Don't put a friend. You don't put a price tag on friendship. That's all I would have to say. And, and like I said before, I don't have such low self-esteem at all. It's just that I thought that I should be able to warn my friend what's going on. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't. Uh, my friend, I guess I should tell the story. I, I texted him at like 3 in the fucking morning. And he got a little irritated because he's got work and he's got a kid and everything else like that. And he goes, please don't text me at 3 in the morning, dude. It shouldn't even fucking matter if it's 4 in the morning. If I'm your friend, you should want me to tell you about my problems, you know, or whatever it is you're, uh, I'm putting up with or going through. My thing is if they're your fucking friend, they're your friend. Shouldn't be no price tag involved. Should not be money involved, period. They're your friends. They're not fucking a, a can of fucking food at the super fucking market or a piece of clothing or a piece of jewelry or some kind of fucking shoe store, if you will. They're your friends. And friendship should never come with a fucking price tag. So people, pull your head out your ass. Stop sticking your nose in the fucking air. 
Because we are all equal on planet Earth. And when there's someone's your friend, it's your friend. You don't put a price tag on them. You're friends at all. See, I think some people just can't handle me because I'm way too real. They're not used to having someone in their life that's a real friend. They're used to being stabbed in the back and ran all over and talked about and backstabbed and everything else that comes along with what fucked up friends do to you if they claim they're your friends. But not me. And that's what I think, that I'm too real and people don't know how to handle that. I just wanted to say, I'm going to leave you with these words. Friendship should not come with a fucking price tag. This is Diamond Kelly sign off, a.k.a. Acoustic Babe. If you haven't subscribed to me, do so now. I got an awesome channel. I got awesome videos. Inbox me, comment me. And all my witches and pagans and practicing witches, individuals like myself, so more to be, blessed to be. You guys have an awesome night. This is a new year. Let's make it fucking count. Let's make a difference. This is all I have to say. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, I was playing a song by Zake Weil. Black Label Size name of the band. Name of the song is Yesterday, Tomorrow, and some other stuff like that. It's from their Hangover on Volume 6. It's Diamond McKelly. This is Diamond Lim or this is Diamond McKelly signing off, aka Hofty Babe at YouTube. Once again, all my witches and practicing witches like myself and pagans. Uh, someone to be blessed to be. You guys have a good night.